Hello and welcome plant friends and family. Welcome to Fruits and I Desires. Um, it's Desiree with a quick little video about the importance of cleaning out your watering can. So what I have here today is um, the white with gold or copper bottom watering can that I use for um, smaller pots. And I have my larger green can here. Sorry, it's a little cracked. Um, <laughs> that I use for my larger house plants and even watering outside with my garden plants. And because I use rainwater as well as the water from snow, what you'll notice is that the particles for some, from some of the, you know, dirt or leaves or what have you not gets on the inside of the can. And even just using regular distilled water, if you don't clean these out, you'll start to notice like a film, um, in the bottom of your pots. I'm not I'm sorry, not pots, but your cans. And you definitely want to clean that out because it's bacteria. Um, and it's not the type of bacteria that you want to introduce to your soil because then you will run the risk of killing your plants. So what you want to do is get you a little antibacterial soap. Today I'll be using Dawn um, with the apple blossom scent and put a little bit of that in my watering cans. Not a lot, just a little bit. You wanna take some hot water, go ahead and pour it on in. Pour it in this one too. And then you could take a regular paper towel Go ahead, shove the paper towel inside, allow it to get a little saturated. And then I have these little bamboo sticks that I use to support my plants. Um, you can get them in packs and bags at your local garden centers. And for the smaller can, just take it around, swirl it, make sure you know you get the sides and all that great stuff. And then what you can do is take it and rinse it out with some hot water and then it's ready for use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one as well. And like I said, I'm gonna rinse both of these out with hot water and then we're good to go. Peace.